Hello and welcome. This is Alan Peterson with imnirvana.com and uh, I want to welcome you to the last video of the Pilar case study. Um, this is a uh, video number 20 or 21. I've lost track already. Uh, ended up being a lot more videos than I originally intended to, but I didn't want to leave anything out. I wanted to show you the entire process. And hopefully you've seen um, how you can easily enter any niche and uh, build a site uh, using PLR materials. And that's uh, what I've been doing there in this entire case study, is just showing you uh, how to do this, uh, how to enter a, a niche uh, and build a site from scratch all on a PLR material. And so that has been, uh, just to wrap up here, that has been my driving force when I create these niche sites is to have multiple income streams to maximize profits. I don't want to just uh, rely on AdSense or, um, or on one thing. I just want to uh, basically throw uh, everything I have at these sites and uh, that increases the uh, opportunities and chances of making more money with these with these type of sites. And so as you've seen there in, the, there in this uh, case study, I went through and I showed you how I use AdSense, which is uh, very typical. A lot of, there's a lot of AdSense type sites out there. So I do use AdSense to monetize uh, PLR for content. Um, remember to rewrite it though, especially with the Google, it's very important that you uh, do rewrite your PLR. Uh, then I showed you the eBay uh, niche store model. Uh, basically, I'm an eBay affiliate, and so I'm able to display related auctions on uh, using a WordPress blog. And so this is uh, one of my favorite ways of uh, monetizing uh, these uh, niche sites. I also then showed you the traditional affiliate marketing routes, um, promoting... Uh, supplies and products and ebooks and courses etc uh, throughout various different affiliate marketing networks like Clickbank and Commission Junction uh, Linkshare, Pepper Jam, Share a Sale, there's many more out there so that's uh, that was another business model that I that I use on my niche sites and then the info product creation and that is where I used a PLR uh, ebook and turned it into um, into a product that I'm uh, selling online and then obviously within the that ebook if you remember those videos I have affiliate links and other things uh, to uh, try to monetize on the front end and the back end which is very important and so and you don't have to just do the, you don't have to do an ebook you can do uh, reports videos you can do all of it uh, with PLR material and in this case study I used a, a PLR ebook is uh, the route that I took and then another important component is list building if you go back to uh, traditional uh, cliche uh, sales call of ABC always be closing uh, list building lets you do that uh, you can continuously send emails out to your prospects it takes more than uh, one contact before they buy from you uh, so by list building you're able to do this and this is something that a lot of people don't do in their niche sites they don't they don't uh, try to uh, build a list um, so I think it's a very important component and you can do this uh, all by build by simply building a list. And I use Aweber uh, as the autoresponder, as you saw, and that's what I use to start my uh, email marketing campaigns, and I highly recommend it. And then I uh, kind of went into a couple different little tangents also. I showed you how um, it's a uh, very uh, great way of reusing your PLR materials as is, uh, is by doing audio and video. And that's a, a, a beauty of it. If you're using the uh, uh, text contents, it's very highly recommended that you rewrite it at least 20 to 30 percent. With audio and video, you really don't have to do that. And so that's uh, that's a fantastic way of reusing uh, your PLR materials. You get a lot more uh, mileage out of it. And I showed you how I do that with the plugin called Odiogo with audio. And then of course, video is hot, hot, hot. And so it's a very easy way of getting more out of your uh, PLR materials. And uh, the uh, YouTube account that I set up for the Cake Deck rating sites, uh, I set this up on January 8th, and right away I already grabbed a subscriber, and I haven't even started uh, promoting this yet, and someone's already subscribed to my uh, Cake Deck rating channel, so it's uh, very powerful stuff. All right, so that's it, folks. That's a quick quick recap here. The case study is over. Uh, went, went a little longer than I thought, uh, but hopefully you've seen uh, the value of using PLR to create these niche sites pretty quickly. Uh, total times that I spent on this was around uh, 12 hours, you know, give or take. Uh, I, I try to be as I try to keep track of my time as accurate as accurately as I could. Uh, but realistically, if you're just starting out, you could easily have a niche site like this cake decorating uh, techniques info within uh, within a week, within, within a few days, have a nice robust uh, site uh, out there that that'll uh, that'll 
get uh, get you going and get you uh, some sales coming down the pike. Um, obviously, these sites aren't ones that are going to make me. I'm not going to retire off this site. Um, they're just nice little uh, extra income streams uh, to my business, and that's why I do these sites. So uh, keep checking back on the uh, on the uh, blog over at imnirana.com. I'm going to have updates uh, throughout the year as how the site is doing. I'm sure people are going to be very interested in that. And so, um, and then uh, just a quick reminder also that my subscribers are going to receive a, a free report, a vid all the videos, and uh, and more good stuff, all for free. So if you haven't uh, joined, uh, if you haven't subscribed to uh, to my list there, I highly suggest you do. And uh, don't worry, I'm not going to bombard you with crap. I do try to send a lot of good quality free content, and when I do send a promotion, it's a, it's it's products that I've that I've used and trusted and that I like. You're not gonna. I'm not gonna send you the same stuff that everyone else does. Um, you can trust me on that. You have my word on that. And then I just wanted to end things up with saying uh, that you really do need to take action. My cat agrees with me. Uh, that is. I know that's very cliche-ish and that you've seen it a lot, but it is very important. Um, don't be buying PLR materials and then just let them sit in there on your on your on your hard drive. Um, you're definitely not gonna make any money doing that. So, uh, so. Grab all the information that you, that I've put on here, and uh, please do take action. So, check out my site at imnirana.com for more info and uh, more information on internet marketing. So that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye.